Hello Tech Ventures students, it's your technology teacher Mr. Whalen here and I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough right now of what's going on with typing.com and an assignment that you'll be turning in today from typing.com. Perhaps yesterday you had a chance to get going or even finish the lesson that I'm pointing at on the screen right now called Beginner Review 1. This lesson doesn't throw any or teach any new keys to you, but it reviews from the previous lesson. It's a very important lesson to finish because this one, when we turn it in, will be a 25 point grade in the grade book. What you want to do is that when it's finished, you're going to take your partial screenshot and we've been building this slide up. This is slide four in our portfolio. And once you have the screenshot for beginner review one in the spot that I have it, right where my pointer is, you're going to submit it. There's an assignment on Schoology called typing.com, beginner review one. When you have this slide ready, you should click on file, download, and choose JPEG. It's the same process that we've used for some of the other things that we've turned in. Once you've chosen JPEG, it's going to download it. You'll then be able to go to Schoology and submit it using the technique that we've taught you. That's a 25 point grade and it's due today. If you didn't finish Beginner Review 1 during class yesterday, please continue to type Beginner Review 1 lesson uh, tabs and screens until it's finished. We're not worried about you going fast. What we do want you to do is to have proper technique. You've seen many videos of me typing where my fingers are based on the home row. What you can't see a lot of times is that my eyes are focused on the screen. Finish Beginner Review 1. Submit it through Schoology, please. You might be wondering, how does a lesson from typing.com get a grade entered into the grade book? Hopefully you've heard by now it's worth 25 points, and I'd like to explain that. When you're at Schoology, you're going to see the lesson for this week called Typing.com Beginner Review 1. You may have already submitted it, and you may have noticed this. It's due today, and the way that you get 25 out of 25 points is that you finish the lesson completely, and you have an accuracy of 90% or higher. If you finish the lesson and your accuracy was from 80 to 89%, you'll earn 20 out of 25 points. If you turn the lesson in but it's not finished, you'll earn 15 out of 25 points. And if you don't turn it in or haven't started the lesson, zero out of 25 points until it's turned in. Now, students, you can move up this ladder at any time. It's up to you. If Currently, you, you have an 85% accuracy, so your score is 20, 20 out of 25. You can come back to typing.com, find where your accuracy is low. Maybe you don't have full stars on a certain screen, and redo it. Once you redo it, come back out here. Keep working until your accuracy is in the 90%. And that's why we're turning in this slide with these screenshots. I don't know if it's going to show up good on the video or not, but... I'll be able to see your accuracy for beginner review one and enter in your score. So we're hoping that you have good accuracy. We're not worried about you going fast. I don't look at your speed. Your grade is not based on speed. It's based on good technique and it's based on good accuracy. In just a moment, you're going to hear me talking about the final phase of today's video, which is going to be part two at Schoology. We're going to get back to the website and talk about technology safety and security. Just before that, I want to remind you to always read the, all the words here at Schoology to go along with the video. Um, you'll see at the end of the video, I'll highlight parts three and four here. Uh, Typing.com, if you have any unfinished lessons or if you have lessons where you didn't earn full stars. If you have any grades that you've turned in for our class that are not 25 out of 25, you certainly have the right to fix those and resubmit them. 
Anything that you don't finish in class today might be considered a homework. Star hunting, that's when you go back to a lesson and you try to get full stars on the whole lesson. And then anchor activities. So you'll see that again at the end of the video. Well, let's get to SOS, FBI, GOV for right now. Today, you're going to be doing two more. You'll be doing activity five, which is called treasure hunt. And activity six, which is a word search. I'm sure you can do both of these without too much instruction. I just I do want to tell you about um, number six here, which is the word search. So I'm actually going to go into it. it. Says to find the cyber safety words by highlighting the correct letters. And the words may go in any direction, up, down, backward, and diagonal. And then read the word's definition at the top of the screen. To me, that's you got to find the word, but that's the most important thing is to be sure to read the definition. It could appear wherever on the screen. I'm just going to find a word or two and tell you about the hint button also. So you're going to have a list of words starting with Bluetooth and ending with upstander. Some of these words you might know what they mean and some of them you might not. Now on this one, I just happen to notice going across the top here is cyberbullying. I'm going to take my mouse. I'm going to click on the C for cyberbullying. I'm going to drag across. When I get to the G, I'll let go. You'll notice that it indicates cyberbullying has been found. This is the important thing. Read the definition of what it means. It gives me a definition for cyberbullying. And with their test, there's a test coming up. I've taken the test. And the word cyberbullying is on there. So you want to make sure that you understand cyberbullying as well as all of the other words. Sometimes kids are excited about doing a word search. They love them. Sometimes kids aren't big fans of them also. And I really don't mind if you use the hint. I'm not sure how it's going to show up on the video, but if I click on hint, it sort of flashes where the next word is that I can find, which in this case happened to be Bluetooth. So finding the words is one thing. If you want to challenge yourself and do it on your own, no problem. But also if you want to use the hint. No matter what method you use, be sure to read the definition. Now, when you're finished with activities five and six, make sure that you get your screenshots. Screenshot five is going to say awesome work. Screenshot six will say great job. So at the conclusion of today's class, you should have six screenshots on slide six. And we'll be on our way to finishing up this unit here pretty soon. Good luck, finish activities five and six, get your screenshots, and then continue the video and make sure that you do the wrapping up activities.